Please do not operate machinery or listen to this recording while driving. Thank you. Stephen John Blowfield, plus six one o four o five double seven two seven nine three. Clinical hypnotherapist. All right now. Find a place that is comfortable and relaxing for you. That's right. And align your body and relax. That's right. Go. And allow your body now to relax comfortably. You're feeling very relaxed. That's right. feeling now to enter the neck muscles. That's right. Good. And allow that relaxation now to enter the back muscles. Relaxed, safe and secure. just for you. 
and as you walk along the beach, you get closer to the board, and it says, you are not afraid of heights. Today, you will never, ever be afraid of heights unless it's appropriate for you to be so. And you write on with a magic text up. I am strong, energized, and able to do anything that I want because I'm energized about life. And you say that you are able to go up in lifts and you are able uh, to go up in aeroplanes and look down or even climb a mountain. And you look thoughtfully at that whiteboard and you move on. That's right. You move on. And then you see in the distance writing on the seashore and the writing says that you are absolutely not afraid of heights. And the waves caress the shore and wash it out to sea. And you walk on and you see an area where people are playing and it's a rock pool and in that rock pool you see a microcosm of life and although people are playing that microcosm of life has fled to safety they know where to go like you you know that you are safe and secure and that you can take charge of your life. That's right. Because you're an energized, powerful, incredible human being. And you look around you and you take in another deep breath of clean, invigorating air. You are calm, tranquil, and you see children playing in the sand and with their families. And the ripples of the wave splish, splash, splosh gently onto the shore. You feel safe and good. The sun's rays are golden and sparkle on the ocean waves. And the warm waves embrace you as if to say, you are safe here today. You feel good. You feel fantastic. And as you look at the seagulls soaring, it makes you wonder what it's like to fly like a seagull and look down. And you think to yourself, I can do that. I can be whatever I want to be. I can overcome my fear of heights starting today. And as my voice goes with you now, filling your entire being, my voice is flowing through you, causing you to relax. Yes, you are relaxing as you listen to my voice. You are seeing your future. You are on your way to great achievements. As you close your eyes, you can see yourself in the heart of a great city. Because you're on a magic beach, you enter the city magically. Now imagine that you are in front of a very tall building. You need to see someone on the 37th floor. You are about to enter the building and you take a deep breath and 
you head for the elevator. The elevator is one of those glass elevators that lets you see the world outside. The elevator eventually opens up and you step into it. And as you step into it, you realize that there are about seven other people in it. And you are feeling bolder today and you are determined not to let your anxiety be seen on your face. Indeed, you smile to the other people as you step in. You adjust yourself and prepare for the ride. And the elevator door closes and the elevator begins to move. You can sense your heart about to thump as you feel yourself being lifted, lifted by the elevator. However, you are poised and positive that fear will not overcome you today. You begin to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. That's right. Good. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you inhale, you exhale gently. You can feel all the bits of anxiety washing away from you. You decide to look out of the elevator through the glass. And you can see another building in the distance. You can see the building getting dwarfed by your own building. You are now on the 15th floor. There are two stops on the 21st floor and on the 29th floor. And by this time, you get to the 30th floor. You can see the buildings below appear like toy houses. And you feel tempted to shut your eyes as you think you're about to fall. Well, you are assured and you assure yourself that today will be different. You feel truly different. You are not going to give in to the negative feelings. You can hear your inner voice telling you, height is beautiful. Height is an expression of greatness. And you're great. As you are higher, you can feel the feelings of being nervous dissipating. You are actually now enjoying the ride. You can see far ahead of you and the ride up makes you imagine a special place. Yes, you feel happy and relaxed as you remember that special place. Yes, as you remember that special place. You can smell the memories and it is as if you are literally there as the elevator moves higher and higher. You are confident that everything will be okay. And when the elevator beeps and the door opens on the 37th floor, you are wishing that the ride up should continue. You are looking forward to another elevator ride. Yes, you have succeeded today and every other day will be a successful day of success. And you hear that voice inside yourself singing. The higher I go, the happier I feel. And the happier I feel, the higher I go. The higher I go, the happier I feel. And the happier I feel, the higher I go. And now, you can go up and down in elevators whenever you like. And you remember the song 
the higher I go, the happier I feel. And the happier I feel, the higher I go. And when I go down, I feel happy as well. Because I know one day, I'll go up, up, higher and higher. And you remember the seagulls. And you remember to remember all those things in your life that involves going upstairs and looking down. And you realize that you are safe and secure. And height is there for you to climb. And to feel slightly afraid is appropriate because it's a built-in evolutionary response to falling. But you're never going to fall because you make sure that you are safe. And the higher you go, the happier you feel. And the happier you feel, the higher you go. That's right. You feel fantastic. You've done a great job. You've done an amazing job of being safe and secure. Safe and secure. That's right. And now, it's time to take reflection and think about yourself and the time you have challenged yourself and to know that you are indeed a marvelous, amazing human being and you do take control of your life and you do and are able to do anything you put your mind to because you're an amazing, wonderfully powerful human being. That's right. You are an amazing, powerful human being. And when you put your mind to what you want to do, you always achieve. You achieve success. And today is the day when you have changed. And so you reflect upon yourself and you go to the well of reflection. And in the well of reflection is your image. That's right your image and you pick up a magic stone and as you pick up the magic stone you drop it into the water that's right and your old image dissipates and the new image emerges you are now a new you and every day in every way you will get better and better you're strong able and are able to achieve whatever you put your mind to. That's right. Good. And as you listen to my voice and as you remember to remember the times that you were on the beach looking at the seagulls flying high and how safe you were then and how safe you are when you go to the 37th floor. You are amazing, and you've done a great job. And you don't have to remember what I said a moment ago. And you don't even have to remember what I said ten minutes ago. You don't even have to remember what I said fifteen minutes ago. Because it's all too difficult to remember to remember what I said all that time ago. You don't have to remember what I said one minute ago. You don't have to remember what I said several seconds ago or a moment ago because it's all too difficult to remember to remember what I said to remember. And now, as you reflect upon your life and how wonderful you are, you take another stone and throw it into the magic lake. And as you do, you notice the ripples 
in the magic lake. They start small and get bigger and bigger. And that's like you now. You are becoming bigger and bigger and you fill the room with your energy and vitality and your ability to achieve great things, to be able to go up escalators, to be able to go up elevators, to go up high, because the higher you go, the happier you feel, and the happier you feel, the higher you go, that's right. And in a moment you may decide to wake up and when you do, the energy and vitality will return to your body and you'll feel fantastic. And every day and every way will always get better and you will always remind yourself how wonderful and energized you are and what a wonderful human being you are. That energy and vitality will tingle with a feeling or sensation of success because you are a successful, marvelous human being. So when it's right for you to, you may wake up or stir and get on with whatever you were doing. Or if you're playing this when you go into bed, you can have a rest or sleep. And when you wake up, that energy will return to you and you'll feel fantastic, safe and secure.